And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some dragons. We know that dragons got some buffs with patch 218. It's been a very popular deck that a lot of people have played, but we actually haven't really played dragons yet. Uh, we did anti-dragon decks on day one to help out people struggling against them. Um, but we also had, uh, you know, got a donation deck to build our own dragons list. And so that's what I, uh, that's what we got here today so we're gonna be playing uh dragons with maybe some unique card choices that not everybody else is playing first of all i really like blue sentinel and loping telescope for the two drops i think they're both just really good cards uh, very strong cards a lot of other people uh want to play the dragon specific two drops with the lieutenant and the herald of dragons Herald of Dragons can speed you up and everything, but it just doesn't attack or block. And I, I want my two drops to be able to attack and block. Um, and so I, I like both of these. Blue Sentinel is worse than Herald at ramping, but it's much better in combat. And so we can slow it slows the opponent down more and ramps a little bit, but not, not nearly as good as Herald. But so I, I like the Blue Sentinel there. And going Loping Telescope instead of like Dragon Guard Lieutenant, because, you know, we get that extra card with that Manifest that could be awesome. Um, it's also, you know, could also get a Celestial, which will matter in a little bit. Um, but, you know, it's just a just a really, really good quality card, as we know, instead of just, you know, a 3-2 Challenger is fine, but I actually kind of prefer, like, if we want a Challenger, I'd actually kind of prefer um, Fleet Feather Tracker, just because the difference between 1 and 2 mana is quite a bit, and I, I think that's, I think that difference is more than the difference between being a 2-1 and 3-2, uh, especially these days with Draven being a 3-2. Anyway, um, yeah, but we're going to play Loafing Tel Telescope instead. So we're playing good two drops. Got a Ranger's Resolve in here to help our dragon stay alive and just help uh, have a really good card for combat. I think that Ranger's Resolve is just always an underrated card. So we got one of those. Um, in here we got a Golden Ages because Shivana and dragons in particular, but Shivana in particular loves to attack. The Golden Ages could match up really well or could pair really well with a Dragon's Clutch. Also, if you're able to go with like the you know, like open attack, plus one, plus one overwhelm. Maybe it's not quite lethal. And then you golden ages afterwards and rally and you, you and your allies, you know, still have that plus one, plus one overwhelm and stuff. So got a couple of those. We got some two Radiant Guardians in here. Uh, hopefully Radiant, you know, for the aggro matchup, hopefully, you know, Radiant Guardian should pair well with the Blue Sentinel and Loping Telescope. Uh, you know, that gives us some more bodies and especially a Loping Telescope can make another body that can give us some bodies that can die a little easier uh, to help uh, Radiant Guardian get enabled and then obviously Radiant Guardian is going to be good once you have your strikes your single combats your concerted strike your um, strafing strike that Siobhan is making and then we're going up to the top end we got three Eclipse Dragon three Aurelian Soul I think Aurelian Soul is just the card you need in Targon matchups and everything I think it's a card that I don't really want to play just one just two I want the full three for uh, all these bigger decks that other people are playing and then also one Skies Descend for mirror type matchups, for slower matchups, uh, all we need are like two dragons in play, or a drag, you know, dragon plus a celestial. If Loping Telescope makes a celestial, uh, like two dragons in play, then you're looking at only eleven mana, and so like eleven mana deal fifteen to all enemies. Sounds like a good deal to me. So we got one Skies Ascend uh, up there in the top end. All right, that's going to be it for our dragon deck. So the, you know, playing a few different cards that other people probably aren't playing, but I think that they should perform pretty well we'll see how they do so let's get to it we're gonna go play our five games and ranked with some dragons karma lux karma lux All right, let's see how we do against karma lux so definitely like the blue sentinel to be doing some attacking and blocking early um the dragon chow actually is probably gonna be good yeah, we'll keep Dragon Show. Yeah. It says draw a card. I like that. We're going to be playing... We got Variety Stream later tonight. With Boot. We're going to be playing Tribes of Midgar. What's up, Shivana? Draw. Fits in nicely here. 
man, that was the worst thing for them to hit in my pers from my perspective. Because I wanted to play Dragon Chow right here, obviously. But if I play Dragon Chow, then they get to just challenge it for free. That was the worst car. I mean, they could have hit the 5-4 challenger also. That would have been bad as well. Man, that's that's rough. Wow. That's rough. They should just pass here. That's that's my expectation. Discipline and steel. I serve my people. All right, so this has worked out very poorly for me. But the game's not over yet, but it's Stand in judgment. You have no alibi. This is your end. So 5 6 5 4 I smell fear. Their plans sharp sight. You know that thing turns into a 5 4. So we at least trade. Round three, Screeching Dragon. <laughs> that, that threw me off big time. Big time. So next round we have nine mana, like not even enough to play Dragon Guard then Eclipse Dragon. That's annoying. Virtue guides me. The thing is, we haven't drawn a single spell besides this Golden Ages, right? Like, no no fight spells, no sharp sights, nothing for, like, interaction. So it's just it's just more and more and more units. How many? We have 14 spells in the deck, and we've drawn exactly one. That's kind of crazy. They had a really good body hand. This, this screeching dragon was nice. Okay, so what do we have? Kind of a whole bunch of nothing. Yep, kind of a whole bunch of nothing. They will burn like we did. The dragon's rage claws to get out. At least we had a good round that round with them not doing anything. I'm glad we got a spell. Just have to hope they don't also have fight spells. How was I supposed to play two bodies right here? With nine mana, how do I play two bodies? My cards cost ten, seven, 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 and three. I don't... There's no combination of those that add up to two bodies.
So I like the Cosmic Inspiration more than the Great Beyond, but I guess Cosmic Inspiration can get denied. But, you know, maybe if that gets denied, then we can Golden Ages. And I'll just take the, the body, but I kind of feel like I should just be taking spells, not bodies. This thing, of course, is a dragon, so that's cool. That's cool. It's hard for me to protect Shavana from Screeching Dragon for like Golden Ages. But I think I just want. I kind of want to just play the Sloping Telescope and let Shavana die. Okay, that could maybe take out. or, you know, slow down Screeching Dragon. See, I think I do this because, yeah, because I would take out Screeching Dragon. One can never have too many dragons. If only I didn't play the Loping Telescope now. I, you know, I wasn't exactly Agonizing expecting back to back. Single combat to get draw. So doing it like this so that if they have like Will of Ionia, that they bounce the Eclipse Dragon, then they don't get their 3-2s, because then those get stunned. Okay, so that just for That just gives it a barrier, right? Like the. It just gives it a barrier. Because it goes back. So it still hits the karma. Witness my true power. So that's pretty good for me. So my plan here is rally, have Shivana create that thing strafing strike and use, try to use that to kill Karma. Karma out of here. So that's good. And I'm waiting on like this. Like they may have something else that's better. You know, I don't, who knows? Like maybe they just play like a bright steel formation or something. I, I don't think we need to take out like just a little bit of life steal. Soldiers, me. Smoke, ash, and dragon fire. I taste purple. Cool. Courage, soldier. Okay. So here we could Equinox. One of them. Walking is strange. Okay. So we could just trade seven five and eight three. Eat that. Eat that. Block. And take six or not take six and throw away a dragon guard. I think we not take six and throw away a dragon guard. We can do this. 
Okay, so we're gonna have Lux there. They have five mana left. That looks good. And so I have the mana for Strafing Strike. Post combat, kill the Lux. Your attack is obvious. I see every move. So Shivana's 14 right now. Strafing Strike makes it 16. Sharp Sight makes it 18. It's not quite lethal. I guess I could be going on like one of these so that if they have Will of Ionia, it's not. Dragon's looking good. Just playing that so I got two sharp sights and a ranger's resolve all available. I mean, I guess I could have played Resolve. Burn all in dragon fire. Yeah, Chi Chi says I've been seeing the biggest Shivanas ever lately. Yeah, and that's that's thanks to the Ruin Dragon Guard, right? Like that card, that card with Shivana is pretty insane. And this hand is just absolutely insane. This is the perfect hand, right? Like this is this is the curve you want with Shivana, right? Because we have Dragon Chow, we can save the Sharp Sight mana. Play the Dragon Guard now. Shivana kills that, and Shivana is just sinful Olympic. Now, does this mean that we defeat Viego? Maybe not. You know, Viego and Shadow Wiles, like they can have, you know, they could have like a, a vengeance, and Viego can take over. It doesn't mean we're going to necessarily win this game. But this is the perfect one, two, three, four that you want with Shivana decks. I think it's. Safe enough to play the dragon chow on one. A little further. Bingo. No Sharima, so I guess they could be going merciless hunter or something. If I'm forgotten, then no. I was hoping they're gonna attack with their O1 and I could block my O3 and just have them <laughs> bounce off each other. Do they still mourn? Do they even remember? had in treat. So we can give Shivana Challenger and Overwhelm. I don't know if we need to do all that. So we had the perfect one, two, three, four. Haven't really drawn other stuff. This is you know kind of a problem with Radiant Guardian at times. I guess we pass. Because if I attack, then they play Viego then afterwards, and I don't really want that to happen. So they do this, of course, to grow Viego. I do this to help level up Shivana. 
As long as that five. Good sharp sight and dragon's clutch should make it eight. Wait, but we need nine. Oh, we need nine. I just gotta hope they don't have vengeance. And or I draw a single combat. Game over. Diego's still pretty great. We had a really good one, two, three, four, but we didn't draw anything that helped us after that. Man, Diego can be really difficult. So the reason why that game was over is because they just drew another Viego, which means they drew despair, and so they were just they were just about to despair my Shivana and kill my Shivana, which ended the game. Alright, this is a good Skies Descend matchup, but we need dragons. They're also a deny deck. I, I'm kind of thinking about putting the Dragon Guard back. Like, there's nothing wrong with the Dragon Guard, but we see that we have to find Shivana first and foremost. So we're just a dragon. I suppose that's possible. I don't mechanize You can get Fury Challenger with Augment. Chat says maybe <laughs> they just preferred their second Viego instead of killing Shivana. I mean, I guess that's that's possible. I just always lose to Viego. I have such a I, I have like a ten percent win rate against Viego decks, and it's just it's it's very frust. I I get frustrated playing against Viego, and I wanted out of that game. Unfortunately, we just got paired against Viego again. They always just have such good Viego hands. Much better than one of... You know how, like, you have cards that... When you are... Um... No, where's Shivana? You know how you have cards that, like, whenever you play them, they don't work out nearly as well as what you hope, and but when you play against them, you can't ever beat them? That's... Viego for me. Shivana? Nope. The air yeah, I could do a deck support Royal Spirit. The reason why my opponent killed the 3-1 and not the 0-1 is because the 3-1 helped the Viego level up where the 0-1 did not. So it has to attack to be able to get that. I don't know about. Keeping the 2-1 alive means that I could trade it with the 3-1 afterwards, but now we can trade it with the 2-2 as well. You know, like either one of those. But the... I knew they were going to have syncopation. Alright, so the thing about syncopation there is... Alright, yeah, so we grow... We grow the Eclipse Dragon to be an 8-8 now, and now they are tapped out. Now I can single combat kill the Hydrovine. And then we'll just trade away 
flip dragon because we got to stay alive. Down to three. But they only, they're only left with three, three in play. Ooh. So we probably need to double spell again instead of like, I would like to play really until here, obviously, but I think that we probably need to get two bodies in play, so we'll go with the Eclipse Dragon into the Blue Sentinel. It's not likely, but maybe possible that we can somehow get Radiant Guardian Lifesteal in with that Augment. Man, come on, another Hydra Vine? They've had a hand. work. GG's. That game showed a little bit of the problem of raiding Guardian instead of, like, it's it's difficult knowing which one to play, Radiant Guardian or the Solari Sunforger. Solari Sunforger would have been better there at the end, you know, with the lifesteal, like, where we couldn't enable the Radiant Guardian. The Sunforger would have been able to play the round before and also play the Mimic and attack and be able to get them both lifesteal, but they would have had, they would have killed them, though, from attacking, so I don't know if that would have actually worked either. All right, Poppy Fizz. Ephemeral always dead because strike trigger. That's a good point. So I should have I should have killed the I should have striked the ephemeral. That's a good point. I don't know why I was thinking like twin disciplines keeps it alive, but yeah, it doesn't because it's ephemeral. That's a, that's a good point. I, I missed that. This mama is a beast mama. That's a good point. Let's cook them. My dragon chow getting it in the way. Oh, Crescent strike could be helpful at some point. So played around refuge syncopation. It. They could have had. Yeah, so they would have had to have, like, two cards, right? Because then they could, you know, they still could have won if they would have had, like, Syncopation plus Twin Disciplines or um, Syncopation plus Refuge or um, or Refuge plus Death Mark the dragon's lost. or Twin Disciplines plus Death Mark. Right, but it, it basically would have forced two cards where the, the play that I did meant we just died to Refuge. Alright, so assuming they're doing this plus the deal four. So, uh, Ravenous Flock. So Ranger's Resolve doesn't save it. I could, I could go with Ranger's Resolve. I think, I think we just play it. The, if they have Flock, it still kills it. And so I just wasted a card. But if they have two of these Buster Shots, maybe their plan was two Buster Shots, hopefully, and not Flock. If they have two buster shots, then it doesn't work. <laughs> I like how my opponent says that, like I didn't realize they were doing that. So that's what I thought that they would be doing, but with our hand, it's just worth forcing them to have the flock over the buster shot. You 
dropped something. I dropped hmm. everything. Alright, so now the Screeching Dragon is going to start clearing up the board. They, of course, are a Bandle Tree tech. So they don't, they just want to stay alive. They don't really care these little things die. We're gonna need that overwhelm here pretty soon. Okay. So unfortunately they did have Vandal Tree. So we have basically one round to kill them. Everyone here? Let's go. They missed Ionia allegiance. I just know the heroes around here Surprise. somewhere. That was a good play by them to not attack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so wait. So we're going three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So we're doing all this. We're not playing Crescent Strike. No, I'm going to level up the Shavana Sha before attacking, of course. What a card. What a card. Dang. By my side. Dragon fire. I give them ten. If they only had nine this round, we could, you know, maybe win next round, but with ten. Right, seven. One, two, three. Yeah, I just don't have the mana. I just don't have the mana. What a card. Double stun, what a card. I will not forget this. Yes, I could give Overwhelm and then single combat, but I only have one I only had one attacker, and I couldn't do twenty damage. So that's the that's the problem. Oh, before he stunned, yes. And so, yeah, I guess I, I just I didn't expect that, you know? Like, that just wasn't on my radar, the double stun. Um, and, yeah, so I could have gone... I, I went for going more damage, right? Because then the, the fight levels up the Shivana, and then, you know, I have three attackers with the Shivana. Uh, yeah. If I... Yeah, so, I mean, I made the wrong decision, right? Because, yeah, so if I would have tried to play around the... Yeah, I could have played around that double stun and, and attacked immediately. Pretty obviously here, nothing's nothing's been working out for us the last three games. Okay, yeah. So your question was correct. They don't get the ten. They have to wait till round start before they can win the game. We had the entire round to win the game.
It's a, it a really good bandol tree hand they had. Sorry, I've just been thinking about their curve and everything. Virtue guides me. Dragon blood, Demacia. I guess I should have expected that, uh, but took away a card, you know, took away a good removal spell from them, plus a, a card. They are nothing. Doesn't look like it's our day. Does not look like it's our day, but you know, like we're we're gonna be playing a new deck up up next. Sometimes things go your way, sometimes they don't. We could definitely get this. You know, like they're only at eleven. Could certainly get this. Like this is attacking for nine. They don't have a blocker. Put them down to two. Never mind. I'll be scoured from this land. What now? Okay, cool, we got there. Alright, so still two and three. Well, two and three. Okay, so we lost to Viego and Bandle Tree. Uh, third loss, Bandle Tree had just a really, really good hand, and then that, that double stun from the Loping Telescope was perfect. I misplayed. I should have gone for the open attack. Maybe if we go for that open attack, overwhelm. Um, you know, I, I just got too greedy withdrawing that single combat. We go for that open attack, we go overwhelm, we go double sharp sights, we probably win that game. And, you know, then we're looking at three and two. We had the other one with that Hydra Vine, which, um, you know, was a pretty unfortunate game. They had, like, some really good stuff there, like that Twin Disciplines, the Death Mark, the uh, Syncopation, all of those just, like, right at the right time. Um, you know, double, you know, they didn't even have the Ego, um, but but two of the Camelborn Soldier, two of the Hydra Vine, and just out aggroed me with just always, you know, like with all those different combat tricks that were really just the right combat trick for the right time. I also misplayed there. You know, I didn't use my single combat on the Ephemeral, should have done that. Um, you know, could have maybe stayed alive there and then, then that. So so both these were not only like, like so both those losses were just not only very good hands that um, had just like real, like the perfect interaction for the perfect time, but then top that with also misplaying and that's how you get your losses. The other loss was uh, just, um, again, a, you know, kind of a perfect one, two, three curve with just Viego using that zero mana spell to draw Viego, using two of those, having despair for my Shivana and me, me having, I had a perfect one, two, three, four curve, but it was all completely reliant on Shivana. All we did was just draw more Shivanas, uh, really drew poorly after keeping our one, two, three, four, didn't draw a card that mattered at all the rest, you know, the entire game, and then they just had, they had despair to kill my Shivana, and then that was, that was it, then Viego takes over. All of those games, you know, like, I think that this deck's very good, I think that we had some, you know, so two of those, I think they were, they were incredibly good hands from the opponent, and also misplays on my part, you know, combine those together for losses, 
Um, and then, uh, you know, one, just a, just a very good Viego hand. Viego can just take over if you, if you're able to. So what I'm trying to say is, you know, just kind of explaining our, our different games there. I think that this deck is really good. I would be very confident in continuing on and, and over the long haul, you know, winning like 70 out of a hundred games. I really, I think that we could win probably 70 out of a hundred games with this, but you know, out of, out of this small five game sample size, we only won two of the five. But if you, if you like dragons, I highly recommend trying this. I highly recommend trying this list. I think that this was a, a good dragons list. I, I wouldn't change anything about it. I don't think I, I still like blue sentinel, loping telescope, rangers resolve, golden ages, all that kind of stuff. I could see if you do want to change something, could see maybe having another strike and then also, um, you know, maybe maybe like a, a strafing strike main deck. I don't know. Probably not. Um, but also, I, I'm still just not sure with Radiant Guardian and Sunforger. Because they're both just such... They're really good at different times. You know, like they're... There's sometimes like where Sunforger is a lot better. There's sometimes where Radiant Guardian is a lot better. Like we saw like that very last game that we had. The Radiant Guardian uh, came in at a better time than the Sunforger. So... I don't know. It's it's so hard to say like which one to play one or the other. If you like Sunforger more, put in Sunforger. You know, like I I don't nest. You know, we had Radiant Guardian here, but the Radiant Guardian wasn't always impressive. It was good a couple of times, pretty bad a couple other times. Um, that's the same kind of thing that Sunforger can be. Sunforger can be good at times, bad at times. I don't know. Maybe maybe like the next like five games I'd play, maybe want to just try Sunforger and see just how the Sunforger plays out. So maybe I'd recommend trying that out. You know, you, if you watch the games, you got to see how the Radiant Guardian was. Um, if you have an idea, if you figured out which one's better and like with this list, and if you know, like if you think, you know, Radiant Guardian's better or if you think Sunforger's better, let me know over there in the comment section because I just don't know. <laughs> I, I, I can't decide. So y'all let me know which one you think is better and why. All right, but that's going to be it here for Dragons. Uh, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.